Ert Watson, the <laughs> st unofficial star of Bellator 258 Fight Week. Biggest star not on the card. <laughs> How does it feel to be back here? You got a cage behind you, sitting here at Bellator. Man, it is awesome. It is absolutely awesome being here, being around a lot of the, a lot of the guys that I grew up in this sport with, you know, uh, working again with Scott Coker and Kerry, you know, because I, I worked with them back since Strike Force, and uh, then they, they transitioned to this. You know, so I've, I I know them and I know how hard they work and it's it's exciting. You know, the last year everybody's been kind of home and semi-retired and retirement is not for Burt Wasser, baby. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> I, I was ready to go back to work. So this was a welcome thing for me to do. Yeah, for sure. And how did it all come together? Because, I, I mean, I got here. One of the first things, you know, I said hi to a couple people and I heard you and I was like, I know this voice. What, what's going on here? So uh, how, did, how did this all come together? Well, I, Scott, Scott and I have, have always, like most people that I know, I've always kept in touch with people. And every now and then you just kind of pick up the phone. Hey, how you doing? How's everything? And I, I happened to see where they were restructuring something or, and then and they had a show coming up. So I just called Scott to say, hey, how's it going? And ironically, he was in the process of calling me because they were making some changes and, and switching some things around. And, you know, his thought was, hey, uh, let's, uh, what's your availability? Let's see if we can kind of get you in here a couple of times and see if, you know, kind of boost some things up. So, man, I was ecstatic to hear that. I said, you know what? I said, but I can't do that in one show. <laughs> You know, so he so he said, well, come on, let's let's try a couple. Let's see what you know. Let's see what happens. And that's what most people say when they bring you on for a job. You know, let's see how it works out, which is which is always what I like. You yeah. know, you know, you like to go and do good enough to have them have you back again. You know, but uh, I got a, I got a lot of gas left in this tank, baby. Trust me. And I'm. I'm ready to, to ride the range. Yeah, and how do you keep that motivation? I mean, you, you've had such an accomplished career. You've been, all, been everywhere, seen everything. Like, what made you want to kind of get that itch again and say, hey, you know, I mean, you just told me off camera I'm yeah. the oldest guy in the room. <laughs> you got the most energy and you, you still keep trucking, man. I am always the oldest guy in the room, you know? It, yeah. am, it amazes me. But first of all, you take care of your body and your mind and it'll take care of you. And secondly, I do this from a real place in my heart from a real place in my soul. I really like it and I genuinely like what I do and how I do it. And and I never intended to be yelling and screaming all my career like I do now. But you know what, I did it for a while and it worked. It works for some people, some people it doesn't work for them, but it works for me and it works in the overall scheme of things. You know, and I'm still having a good time and I'm still able to do it. So the worst you can do to yourself is not, you know, achieve when you can. And as long as I can do it, baby, I'm going to do it. For sure. Plain and simple. Was it nice too? I mean, there's a couple names on this card, people you worked with in the UFC, like Anthony Rumble Johnson, Lorenz Larkin. Was it nice kind of seeing some of those familiar faces, people you hadn't <laughs> seen for a long time? Uh, the biggest part was to, to see their reaction to me being here and to see how, how real and genuine they were. You know, and John McCarthy and Josh, you know, and the, the ring announcer and and, and, and even some of the corner people, you know, because in this business, the guys, they share camps, you know, and they share corners. So I see a lot of the corner guys that I've been seeing over the years, you know, so it was, nobody knew I was going to be here. No one but me, and, no one but myself and Scott. So when I saw them, it was, it was a bit of a surprise, but it's good to see them. And it, as hype as I may get them and may have gotten them for tomorrow's fight, I'm just as hyped myself. <laughs> Trust me, baby. I, I'm sure. ready to roll. And then it extended beyond just the people that are here. I mean, when we put the story out, the love and support that you got online from fighters, managers, coaches, the yeah, comments. Yeah. I mean, did yeah. you see some of that stuff? Did you, people yes, blowing sir. up your phone? Yes, sir. I did. I did see it. I, I got phone calls, you know, and uh, a lot of well wishes, you know, and kind of made me a little misty. I'm like, damn. <laughs> you know? but, Makes you feel uh, like you did something right. Yeah. 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 yeah because. This world, combat sports, MMA, and boxing, is a fraternity. And the people in it have to let you in it. And when they let you in it, they know if they want you in it, and you know when they don't want you in it. So the support and the, and, and the calls I get from them, I know they're real. 
You know, no one forced him to do that, and it's not perpetrated. It's real. You know, as real as that is. <laughs> Nailed it. So I, you know, I, I get them, and, and I, I enjoyed every bit of it, and I take every bit of it to heart. That's great, man. You know? And uh, you know, I just talked to Scott about you. He had a lot of nice things to say, and like you alluded to, you said you're here for you know a couple events, and mm -hmm. uh, you know he said there's a good chance that they'll keep you on board. They already like what they see. So what's yeah. the future for Burt Watson and Bellator? What do you think? I like it. Yeah. I, I, I've always followed this organization and the people involved in this organization. And you know what? It's, I, I, don't, I don't go someplace without the thought in my mind that I'm gonna make it my place, you know? And, uh, but it's up to them, you know, to see if it works out, you know? It's like any marriage, <laughs> you know? You gotta give and you gotta take, but everybody's gotta agree, you know? But I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my best.